your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. This is not your Patrick Swayze ghost. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. And here we are. We are going to be doing a retro review of Ghost. <laughs> oh, my gosh, guys. I love doing these kinds of retro reviews, man. I love reviewing figures um, that I know nothing about. Now, one of the main reasons why is... One of, one of the main reasons why I bought this figure is because, well, first off... Just look at her, <laughs> right? Uh, I love, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I love collecting obscure action figures. And the second reason why I picked her up is I bought her for $5, man. $5 from the world famous Big Ben's Comics in Allen Park, Michigan. There is a little read up. You know what? Let's do a little read up on Ghost because I have no idea what she's about. Uh, there she comes with a comic book, some guns, gun holster, and she brought a couple of uh, balloons to the party. Um, and then here is, uh, it's from Dark Horse Comics. I know nothing about this uh, figure or character. It is from 1998. Wow, bro. Wow. And look at that. Coming in 1998. <laughs> Holy crap. Don't mess with Martha. Holy crap, guys. All right, so let's do a little read up before I rip this box open and take her out of the package. The comic book right there. We'll take a look at the comic book as well. So this is going to be a comic book review as well. Special Collector's Edition number 01697. Wow, man. All right, so here we go. Let's do a little read up. If you guys don't want to hear the read up and if you guys want to see the review and the comic book, you can always jump forward. But I'm going to get familiar familiarized with this character. Okay. Ghost. She drifts through the twilight divide between the living and the dead. Neither entirely spirit nor truly flesh, she haunts both realms and is hunted by the demons from each. Her past is a mystery. Her future is her future a question of survival. Meet Elisa, Cameron, aka Ghost, the most beautiful, most dangerous apparition to ever materialize material materialize on this or any other planet of existence armed with a match pair of 45s ghosts possess the ability to pass through material world unseen and untouched except when she wills it with all links to her past cut off and presented with an uncertain future ghost stands at the crossroads between heaven and hell facing a path that she must walk alone <coughs> all right kind of sounds like uh the web series that i do on my channel uh my other youtube channel called gangsters of demons shameless plug boom check it out i'll leave a link in the comment section <laughs> interesting guys okay let's take her out man let's quit wasting time she is stapled in there as you guys can see stapled yes stapled and probably one of the main re reasons why she's stapled in there is because of the comic book so she's been on this card since 1998 and this is a collector's edition that i got for five dollars <laughs> Hey, you never know when when these uh, comic books or action figures are going to be worth money. You know what I mean? They might eventually do a uh, movie of her, and hey, this might go up to uh, this might go up in value. You know, it's maybe to ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it's not much of a collector's item, anyways, because the card is warped. It's pretty horrible looking. Um, so here's the comic book right there, Ghost. 
awesome comic book. We'll take a look at that in a moment. I want to take a look at the figure at hand. So let's take out Ghost. And there is really nothing much to her. She does come with some pistols right there that are taped in there. Let me pop these out real quick. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why I'm doing that when I got a freaking knife here. And you can tell they've been in there for a while. Especially when the black paint is chipping off right there. Yeah, let's see the black paint is already chipped off on the gun. And then there's the gun. All right. Let's put that off to the side. Let's take out the ghost. Okay, so here is Ghost. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit, guys. And if you are tuned in to watch this review, I just want to say thanks. <laughs> if you guys unsubscribe to my channel, I, I, uh, I don't hold it against you. So here is Ghost. Man, oh man. I mean, I like the concept. I mean, yeah, the face is... I don't know if she's supposed to have a dirty-looking, shitty face. But, uh, yeah. That's probably the best part right there. Um, yeah. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I mean, for five bucks, I mean, why not? You know what I mean? So, yeah, that just kind of goes over her like that. Not too bad. Her cloak, I guess if that's what you want to call it. It's kind of like a plastic, hard plastic rubber piece. And it just kind of sits over her like that. Not much articulation from back in the day. This is a figure from the 90s. Just arms, they go up and down. She has been at the elbow. Nothing at the wrist. And she does have these awkward uh, thigh cuts. I mean, not too bad. I mean, compared to some of the Greg Capullo stuff that I collect, I mean, it's not that bad. <clears throat> so this right here, I have no idea how the hell. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be, is this supposed to go around her waist? Yeah. Okay. So this, I was like, okay, I, there's no way I can peg this into her. So, <clears throat> or excuse me, put this over her. So let's just pop this in. She does have a peg right there. And then there's the gun holsters right there. Okay. I think that's how it goes. I'm not really for sure. I feel like <laughs> let me let me unbutton let me unbutton this real quick. Um <clears throat> so yeah, I can't really go around her thighs. I'm thinking it might go around her thighs, but no, it just kind of sits right there at her waist, so there's really no other way I can really peg this in. So yeah, there's that right there. And then there's ghost. Let's put the guns in her hand. Maybe I'll feel a little bit differently. So, yeah, the guns just kind of sit in her hand like that. I mean, listen, it's not a bad concept. I like it. I like it. It kind of reminds me of my, uh, like I said, my other YouTube channel, Gangsters and Demons, uh, except I don't play a ghost. <laughs> Interesting, guys. Um, okay, let's uh, let's do some measurements. We'll do some comparisons, and then um, uh, I'll go ahead and we'll look at the comic book real quick, and then I'll give you my rating of this uh, of this figure. So, Ghost stands at just a little under six and a half inches tall. Ghost with Neca Phantom. I mean, it's not that far-fetched. I mean, yeah, when you compare her with other figures, I mean, she's not that bad looking. You know what I mean? You have her next to Phantom. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Not not too bad. How about Ghost with um, <coughs> Bronx, modern day action figures? Ghost. How about Ghost with Martian Manhunter? I mean, essentially, they're all freaking toys, right? You know what I mean? Um, how about, let's put her with Red Hood. I mean, 20 years, 25 years from now, we're going to be looking at this like, what the hell is this crap? You know what I mean? Compared to like 98, like this is, this is what we got in the year 2022. What the hell is this shit right here? And, you know, <laughs> action figures, if they're still making action figures 20, 25 years from now, um... I'm sure we'll take a look back at that and be like, whoa, what the hell? 
Um, but some action figures, they do stand the test of time. So, you know what I mean? So there have been, you know, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I've reviewed action figures from 25 years ago and they look great. So it's just all, just all depends on how you, how you, uh, how you design the, uh, action figure itself. You know what I mean? If you put care into it, you know, like some of the Stan Winston figures, if you guys watch my channel, you see all the, the care that goes into, you know, Stan Winston uh, figures how they stand the test of time even today here she is with batman um and just for the hell of it let's do a spawn figure raven spawn or why not okay um let me go ahead let's take a look at the comic book guys if you're still here with me if you're still here with me that means you've survived so let's take a look at the comic book why not right let's make this a full review she came with the comic book let's take a look at the comic book um is there let's see who made this cover images image makers photo manipulation dave stewart motto yvonne epstein okay so there's the model right there yvonne epstein if you guys want to uh, do a little google search on her so yeah here's the comic book right here Ghost, there was a Deadly Game. Is there a Deadly Game? No. Oh, dead. that's the name of the, the series. So here's all the people that were responsible for the comic book. There's Ghost, Deadly Game. Pretty decent artwork, I'm not going to lie. Looks really good. We're not going to go through it. We're not, I'm not going to read the... I'm not going to read to you guys the entire story because I don't know how much you guys even care. But yeah, there's that right there. Very, very cool artwork. I like it. I like it a lot. If you guys want to pause and read it, you can read the story of Ghost. Really cool, man. It looks like an interesting story. You know what I mean? So, very dope. And here are some of the other ghost stories that you can pick up. Poster. Oh, there's a poster. Paperback. <clears throat> live fast, die young, leave a pretty corpse, then come back and kick butt. Awesome, guys. I really like the concept. I mean, it's not too it's not too bad. It's not too far-fetched. So let me know your thoughts about this ghost, guys. Have you ever heard of her? Have you ever heard of the comic books? Let me know what you make of a ghost. Let's go ahead and get a cool shot right here of a ghost with her comic book if she can stand and there you guys have it there's my thumb there's my thumbnail right there <laughs> all right guys um leave your thoughts in the comment section about this figure what do you make of ghost all right there we go another review in the books all right guys i just want to uh thank you guys for watching uh leave your thoughts in the comment section um there's nothing more i can say thanks for watching peace out